So what is H. pylori? H. pylori is a bacteria that sits inside the walls of the stomach, secretes an enzyme called urease, which decreases your acid production. That's a problem for a couple of reasons. The first problem, decreased acid production causes an issue because then you don't have enough acid to digest your food. What that means is you can't break down the minerals from your food properly. So over time, you start using up your body's store of minerals. And then what happens is you get mineral deficiencies, things like magnesium, zinc, calcium, B vitamins, especially B12, they all become low because over time you're not breaking down your food properly. The second problem you have is that low acid levels often cause acid reflux because one, it can interfere with the uh, lower esophageal sphincter. So H. pylori can actually interfere with the closing of the lower esophageal sphincter. So when you eat food, you don't have enough acid to digest that food. And because that sphincter stays open because of the interference of H. pylori, it comes back up and has irritation in and around the esophagus. And that is what you experience when you experience acid reflux. But it's not just the stomach that gets infected with H. pylori. H. pylori can infect your gallbladder. It can infect your liver. It can infect your small intestine. It can even infect your lungs, kind of crazy enough. So an H. pylori infection doesn't necessarily just sit inside the stomach. And there's actually recent research to show that H. pylori can actually cause damage to the bowel as well. And I probably think that's because if the, uh, if the acidity coming from the stomach is low, you end up getting overgrowth of lots of bacteria in that stomach region that shouldn't be there. And everything that ends up in the stomach ends up in the bowel. It's kind of like when you swallow something, it affects your oral microbiome, your esophageal microbiome, your, your stomach or your gastric microbiome, and then your gut microbiome as well. So what I like to do with my clients when we're trying to kill H. pylori, I prefer if they didn't use antibiotics immediately where possible. Now, there are some strains that are really serious and you definitely need antibiotics for, but I think most people could probably get away with trying to reduce the H. pylori populations naturally. One of the reasons I'm not a massive fan of the antibiotics is because it doesn't always work. Depending on the studies you look at, 70-80% success rate with antibiotics. For me, that's a high degree of chance that you're not going to clear the H. pylori, but you're still going to damage the gut microbiome from the antibiotics, which is why I don't like it. Personally, I prefer a product called Pilot Purge, which is something I developed when I had H. pylori and I didn't want to take antibiotics. It contains two types of curcumin, mastic gum, broccoli sprout extract, and nutmeg. And the idea is to try to reduce the pain from the H. pylori, but also reduce the H. pylori populations in a way that it's not going to damage the rest of the gut bacteria. Personally, I think one of the reasons the antibiotics don't work so well is because not only do they reduce H. pylori populations, they also reduce the beneficial bacteria whose job it is to keep the H. pylori in check. Remember, H. pylori is a commensal part of most people's microbiome, but it only causes issues in certain people. I think those people are the ones who have issues because they don't have enough of the beneficial bacteria, as well as having too high a dose of H. pylori inside that stomach region. Hopefully that's helpful. Uh, please subscribe and follow along.